Hey everyone, we are back after so long and we are making a full self-driving video and my name is Anato Mohamed and I love to film Tesla full self-driving videos in New York. So I have a hardware 3 vehicle and as you all know that hardware 3 vehicle is kind of left out to getting version 13 where hardware 4 vehicle or AI 4 vehicle already getting that uh, but we didn't get it but whatever we have right now is the latest that is hardware 3 vehicle 12.5.4.2 and we are making a video about it, right guys? So hopefully you will enjoy this video and let me know what you think about this performance and we're gonna find out how FSD handles Long Island's road in New York because we're gonna test some narrow roads in this video and we're gonna do some unprotected left turn where this unprotected left turn is kind of tricky. And also, if you are listening to my voice, uh, probably you got it already that I have fever and also my voice is kind of cracky right now and I'm not like, you know, up to the mark. So hopefully you guys will still enjoy the video. So we already changed the lane to follow our destination where the car makes mistake by not. Oh, wow. That car was like coming a little close to our car and our car slows down move to the left side a little bit very good job there so as i was saying our car failed here by the for navigating and follow the navigation for some reason i have no idea why hardware 3 vehicle keep doing it hardware 4 all vehicle also did the same mistake when i tried it uh so let's see if the car can do it we should follow that school bus we should change the lane and get into that uh route and follow that school bus but it is not okay and it breaks you saw that right it was at the very last moment it changed the navigate like it changed the lane and it braked a little hard because it immediately saw that school bus now again confusion it stopped there is no other vehicle but we are going we stuck almost in the middle of the road but i don't like it why would you break in the middle of the road and stop the car so we are gonna test the narrow road right now so let's find out how the car handles this narrow road guys so i'm gonna change uh the navigation after we make this left turn and then we're gonna test that narrow road situation where the car makes mistake all the time gets stuck and now it is not even making this left turn and now it is making this left turn so i'm gonna fix the gps a little bit so that okay 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 so already saying paying attention so i'm gonna take over and then fix the navigation so that it can reroute us through that road and we can see how the car handles so i'm just putting the destination as you can see and we're gonna engage it i engage it one more time and our car is moving we're gonna make a left turn in this narrow road the car is going fast and then okay wow this is good it breaks it is confident it is confident it is making this left turn very good job like amazing you know that at daylight the car fails here if you are familiar with my channel you know that very well hardware 3 vehicle makes mistake by not making this narrow road left turn so we're gonna do one more time guys so let's do it guys so engaging it one more time narrow road testing uh, version 2 right guys so we're gonna make a left on this upcoming stop sign as you guys can see the car is proceeding it's gonna make a left turn here coming little fast and then realize we're gonna make a left it is very confident like it is very confident i can tell you that in this exact software version the car was failing every single time even if it's a good weather it's a bad weather it's day at night whatever it is the car is keep failing but today it is doing it without any hesitation it, it made that left turn perfectly without any problem and there is a human walking we're gonna see how the car very good job there so we avoided that human and now we're gonna make a right turn 
Very good. Let's go. Uh, now there is a hesitation making this right turn. It was looking on the left side. It was probably getting a little hard, hard time to look on the left side uh, if there is any other, other vehicle was coming or something like that. And then it realized there is no other vehicle from the left. It immediately made that right turn. And now is the time, guys. We are going to do that unprotected left turn test where this left turn is kind of a little tricky and there are vehicle coming from our left side and there is no other vehicle right now the car proceed perfectly without any problem very good like very good so if you guys are enjoying this video again my name is Anato Mohamed please hit that subscribe button because this is the only free way you can support me as a content creator and love I love I love to film full self-driving videos guys I need your help I need you to hit that red subscribe button because this is the only free way guys you can support me as a creator. Also, if you want to grab our FSD beta bumper magnet, you can attach it to your Tesla Model 3, Y, S, X, whatever model you have, and you can let other driver know that your car can make like self-drive by itself. So we're gonna change the navigation one more time to look how the car handles this unprotected uh, left turn. This is definitely a tricky unprotected left. So I just uh, engage it. So let's do it guys. Unprotected left number one in New York Carter 3 vehicle version 12.5.4.2 in New York and we are proceeding this is a tricky unprotected left we need to stop on this stop sign this is also tr like a narrow road we need to stop behind this white line then we need to creep and go straight make a right and be stop behind that uh, black car so our car is proceeding as you can see and it make that mistake for some reason so I don't like it like why would you do that I don't like it at all and there's a vehicle coming from behind us. So I have to take over guys. This is a fail. This is definitely a fail. Because why would you go and make that right turn at the very first moment where you need to go a little straight, make a right turn and make a U-turn from here, right over here, right over here. So let's do it one more time. It sometimes makes mistake like this and then it realized then I have to do this kind of thing and then it fix itself. So let's see if the car can fix itself this time. The second time we're gonna test it. So let's do it guys. Unprotected left number two. First time the car was hesitant. It make a wrong move and I had to take over. So now let's see how the car handles the second time. We need to stop on this stop sign and then creep and look on our left side. If there is no other vehicle, we should go proceed and make a right turn, immediately make a U-turn. There are vehicle on our left side right now. So we're gonna see how the car handles. The car is now started creeping and there are vehicle on our left side. There are traffic on our left side. So let's see after this, uh, after this car, we should definitely proceed. We should go straight. As you can see, the car is doing it. Amazing job. Now we need to slow down. Oh my goodness, you came so fast and now you cannot do it. Oh wow, it is trying. Okay, there is no space. So I took over guys. When it was trying to make that U-turn, I'm telling you. It was trying to make that U-turn and when it was trying, there is no space to make this U-turn and there are vehicle from our uh, behind. So I had to take over one more time, guys. Very frustrating. It was almost doing the right thing. It came a little fast. It was a little, like, too much confident. Like, it was like very confident, like, it was a little confident. I don't like the confident when you are gonna make a mistake. You should just cross it a little slow. You make that right turn, you hold, you wait, and if there is no other vehicle, you just make that U-turn slowly. It was like, I'm, I'm in a rush, I'm gonna do it right now, right away. So let's do it one more time, guys. Protected left number three in New York. Almost, this is getting like dark here in New York, but we're gonna see how the car handles this unprotected left turn. First two time the car failed, just so third time we need to stop on this stop sign and look on our left side. If there is no other traffic from our left side, we can proceed and go straight and there are traffic right now. This is a very busy road right now because it's after 5 p.m. 
working days there are vehicle you shouldn't proceed there are still vehicle on our left side so let's see how the car handles so there are one more and after this we should proceed I guess immediately go straight make that right turn very good job it is trying to do it all right again same mistake and there is no other vehicle from our behind so hopefully the car will make a u-turn and it is doing a u-turn very good but it definitely makes other car you know like go slow because when you when you're making u-turn like this whatever car is behind us it needs to slow down for you so it shouldn't um you know like decide like this like it should just go to a different road and just reroute us i know it missed the first lane like whatever lane it was you see here right over here it should just make a u-turn from there but it was not going there it was always going to the next block to make a u-turn which is a wrong move to do i really don't know why so we do did like three unprotected left turn every time the car somehow failed but we need to deal with this kind of things in hardware three vehicle guys it knows how to do this road because it did so many times this unprotected left turn uh, perfectly without any problem but today for some reason it did those narrow road testing perfectly it even changed the lane margin to that road a little bit of hesitation there it makes that too narrow road um, left turn perfectly without any problem but after that it just makes mistake guys it just makes mistake huh so let me know in the comment got you guys like what do you think about this performance because i need your opinion i need to know what you think about this performance and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching i love you so much have a wonderful wonderful day